what's going on everyone? Free Darkness here, bringing you a 51-0 KM came play. That's right, I say came play, because I kill so many people. I came, as in I got to this game, and achieved an awesome score. Came play. Patented. Don't use it. <laughs> but I'm kidding. Uh, you know, this is my first Moab gameplay, or chem gameplay, or new gameplay, whatever you want to really call it, you know, if you're a veteran Call of Duty player. You want to call it a gameplay. If you're a new a Modern Warfare 2 player, you want to call it a nuke. If you are uh, whatever you want to call yourself, you want to call it whatever you want to call it. But this is a really good gameplay. I got a KM. I wasn't going for one, obviously. You know, I never go for these great gameplays. They just happen to fall onto my shoulders. And you know, of course, I, I think from looking at from what I've accomplished so far in this game, they've. Those good gameplays usually come from just trying to complete field orders, or not really field orders, but uh, what's that thing called? Objectives, whatever. Challenges. I mean, my 55 and no gameplay, which I posted, I was mainly just trying to get sniper kills so I could get a ghillie suit. And I went 55 and 0. Got three helos. First time ever getting three helos. Here, I'm trying to get the PMC Elite Red Helmet, which I've already gotten. It's an awesome helmet. Besides the uh, Delta helmet, I think is my favorite one because it's so cool. It's a helmet with a red visor. It just looks so awesome. And you know, here I'm trying to get that helmet. And in order to get that, I need to get about 75 kills with the Griffin. Now the Griffin is a little quad rotor. It's something I don't use often because it just feels uh, what can I say? Too flimsy. I mean, it's very hard to control, and then unlike the Dragonfire, which seemingly had a farther range, this thing goes out of range the second you fly over an object that you probably shouldn't be flying over, which I think is silly. I mean, you can't fly over rooftops. What kind of quad rope is this? I mean, come on. But it's it's been it's a little bit annoying. I have very mixed feelings with this kill streak because I've gotten it. You know, it's a it's not very high kill streak. But it definitely kicks ass. I mean, the first time I used it when trying to go for the challenge I needed to go for, I got like 15 kills, which is, you know, a pretty nice accomplishment because it's a really, you know, low kill streak and it's really easy to blow it up. I mean, every time I fly, you can't really see where the rockets come out from. It seemingly comes up from under the quad rotor. And, you know, if it comes out from under it, you got to really just watch out where you're hovering over because the second you shoot that, rocket you're gonna blast yourself to smithereens you, you gotta really be careful and watch yourself i mean i i made the mistake of using this kill streak i made the mistake of using any air support in uh in free fall you know if you use a helo pilot you're gonna end up blowing yourself up because when the building collapses your helo pilot explodes spontaneously it's really really scary how that happens uh however you use a Griffin here in free fall, it won't explode spontaneously. You'll be able to fly around, but you know, that map is such a clusterfuck with debris just literally everywhere. You are gonna have so much trouble flying it around. I mean, I, I remember last time I used it on free fall, this guy just ran right past me, like, wow, this guy just is asking to be killed. I'm trying to turn around, I'll kill him, and you know, trying to make sure there's no debris around me so I can shoot and not explode myself and that was a excellent attempt but it was a failure really bad failure because basically I you know deploy it it gets stuck in between some debris I'm trying to turn around trying to stalk this guy's like hey come back no and you know as a last ditch effort before he gets out of my uh, my angle for me to shoot I shoot and hit like a small beam and it kills me not me, my, but my quad rotor. My little freaking griffin. So, I have very mixed feelings about this. You know, it can easily be destroyed by user error. And if it's not, if you're actually a skilled pilot, you can probably accomplish a lot of kills with it. So, it's definitely a good kill streak in the right hands and in the right maps. So, I, I definitely encourage anyone really to use this because it's definitely not OP because you can easily blow it up if you're not careful. It's definitely a, f a fun kill streak to use as well. Anyways, here I got three he uh, three of these Griffins, which obviously would have contributed to my PMC Elite Red. However, after I got my first one, I tried to get us uh, get all my kill streaks because basically everyone's popping out. If I call in my uh, little Griffin here, 
it won't actually get me kills towards my next griffin. But if I call in, if I manage to get my griffin and then go ahead and try to get my dog and my chopper again, you know, the second I call that chopper in, it's most likely going to get me the last kill I need for the griffin. So I'm going to call in my griffin after I call in my chopper. So I can just kind of quickly chain another easy one. I mean, it's only one kill, so it's not really nothing to chain, but I just want all my kill streaks as, as fast as possible. Fortunately, this guy attacks my dog, and I'm just like, nope. I gotta try to save him. Unfortunately, I let Riley die, but it was not in vain, because I managed to get myself my uh, second griffin. Of course, it overlapped my first one, so I never got to use the first one, unfortunately. But I did pretty well with it. I did get a couple kills. That's a very, very nice kill streak. I, again, I encourage anyone to try it. However, uh, as you probably have noticed already, I am lagging my socks off. I am just really, really bad here. And oh, this was pretty funny. I just, I, I just shot. Really? Look at this lag. I mean, I shoot, <laughs> I shoot this guy so much, and yeah, they're basically all dying. It's a, it's a very nice. God, I'm just looking at this thing in action right now. It, it kicks butt. You know, it gets hit markers often. That was, <laughs> that was bullshit, by the way. But. You know, it gets hit markers often, but it's still pretty damn balanced for for what it is. I like it. It's really neat. Um, but <laughs> this lag, man, I never, never expected to do to do well. I mean, when the first uh, lag spike hit me, I'm just like, this game is it's gonna be shit. It's gonna be shit. But I can't leave because you know I gotta I gotta try to get my kill streaks and I I gotta be there for my team. I don't like leaving. The only time I would see, the only possible time I see as an excuse to leave my team is if I get an invite and I die after I lose all my killstreaks. <laughs> if if I'm doing really good, I'm gonna stay in the game, obviously. If I am doing very good and then I die, then okay, yeah, this is it's time to accept the friend invite because <laughs> I am not gonna stay in that game after I lost all my stuff. It usually happens after lag, so you know what? I'm I'm gonna leave, but. Yeah, this was a terrible game, man. I was lagging the host rage quit after I get my KM. Not really directly after, but after I get my third Griffin. Actually, I'm flying my Griffin while it gets destroyed. And I, I shit you not, I was not thinking about getting a KM. That was, in the, that was the last thing in my mind. I was My only objective was get as many Griffins as possible, get as many kills as possible, get my PMC Elite Red helmet, and... Flip and be happy that I accomplished this because this is a nice helmet, man. I, I'm I, I'm telling you, go check it out if you haven't seen it. If you run into someone with a with a red visor, that's probably me. And uh, take it easy on me because I'm, I'm not that good. <laughs> but, as you can see here, I'm just chilling in the grass, you know. That's what I do. I like to feed the grass with uh, dead bodies, corpses, you know. They decompose. They're biodegradable, so I like to think of myself as a as a worldly person. I like to think about the world before the game. So here I'm just trying to feed the grass as much of this as I can. Finally get my KEM. I didn't even notice it. I tried to call in my chopper because I just got my chopper to call it in. And then the KEM pops out. I'm like, what? <gasps> and then, you know, this guy comes out and starts attacking me for no reason. And my dog is just like, hmm, what is that? I hear something. <laughs> I just love Riley's face too. I mean, you can't really see his face, but the way he's just staring off into so suddenly starts being really focused on something uh, nobody could possibly understand except for another dog, maybe. Ah, oh, Ben, I, I got my KM. My first KM. I was honestly not too excited. <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, ah, 44 now, woo! And I'm just like, okay, oh shit, I'm getting shot. I gotta stay alive. I try to, maybe this could be my second flawless. At this rate, you know, 178 points. And I'm obviously gonna get all my kills again. I mean, 170, 180, there's about 20 points left in the scoreboard for us to earn. I could potentially get another 30 kills, another 40 kills, you know. I mean, it took me this long. It took me about, what, 9 minutes to get 40 kills? I can easily get in a minute another 40 so I could have been 80 and 1 or I mean 80 and no flawless no why would I have died but that's the thing because the host rage quits I'm never gonna have closure on this game you know I never know if I could have gotten a 60 and 0 a 70 and 0 a freaking 1 billion and 0 over 9,000 and 0 I'll never know because I didn't get any closure I mean could that be possible? Most likely not. There was only one minute left in the game. Could have have gotten a 55 and no. 
which would have been my my best flawless gameplay on this game so far, beating out my other 55 and 0. Uh, or a 56 and 0, you know, a 57 and 0, anything like that could have made this my best game so far. But because the host rage quits, I'm never gonna get that experience. I'm never gonna get the closure of having known that this game could have been a better or possibly worse. I'll never know. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.